Hi students, as we have completed our nitrogen cycle, right? And in the video, we have also seen the nitrogen fixation mechanism along with the nitrogen assimilation. So here I am with some of the questions, MCQs for the nitrogen cycle, nitrogen metabolism. And the first question is, and you should be interested in the questions because we are done with the theory. So here, read the given statements and select the correct option. One is soil serves as a reservoir of essential elements. And second is the soil develops over the years through physical and chemical weathering of rocks. So these are the two statements and the options are both statements are correct one is correct second is incorrect statement one is incorrect second is correct and one and two both the statements are incorrect and the answer is that yes both the statements they are correct soil serves as a reservoir of essential elements definitely and soil develops over the years through physical and chemical weathering of rocks both the statements they are correct second question of ours that is major constituents of proteins vitamins hormones and nucleic acids and the option is no doubt nitrogen right so Again, if you talk about the proteins, proteins are what? The chain of amino acid. So in the video, we have seen that first of all, ammonia, it is converted into amino acid. And after that, the amino acid, they form the polypeptide chain, right? Amino acid, they join through the peptide bond, form the polypeptide and the proteins they are formed. Again, vitamins, they are having the role in the processes, hormones, they are the chemical messengers and nucleic acids, DNA and RNA, nucleic acids, they are the genetic material. Third question of ours, that is, nitrogen, a limiting nutrient for natural ecosystem, agricultural ecosystem, aquatic ecosystem, both a and C. Both A and C means both natural ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem. And the answer is yes. A and C. Nitrogen, it is a limiting nutrient for natural ecosystem as well as aquatic ecosystem. Next question of ours, that is conversion of N2 into NH3 nitrogen when it is converted into ammonia the process is called as and the option for you they are nitrification nitrate reduction nitrogen fixation and ammonification and here when we talk about that the process of conversion of atmospheric free nitrogen gas into nitrogenous compounds like NH3 it is called as nitrogen fixation no doubt and in the video we have seen that you know the nitrogen it is not used as such it cannot be used as such means it cannot be absorbed in the body as such and that is why it is needed to be converted into this ammonia or it is needed to be converted into nitrates and nitrites right and the process is known as nitrogen fixation now nitrogen and hydrogen combine to form NH3 ammonia under high temperature and pressure this is an example of the options are biological nitrogen fixation industrial nitrogen fixation natural nitrogen fixation and electrical nitrogen fixation and the answer is industrial nitrogen fixation 
biological nitro fix nitrogen fixation is what where the nitrogen fixation it is being done through the prokaryotes the various types of bacteria either free living or symbionts next question for you decomposition of organic nitrogen of dead plants and animals into ammonia it is called as the options are nitrification ammonification nitrogen fixation and nitrate reduction and no doubt the process is ammonification next question is nitrite it is oxidized to nitrate with the help of and these are the names of the bacteria the options are nitrosomonas nitrococcus nitrobacter and thiobacillus and i know that you know the answer the answer is nitro bacter next question is nitrogen it is absorbed in the form of nitrate nitrite ammonia or both nitrate and nitrite and the answer is both nitrate and nitrite see this is what the motive of nitrogen fixation right because it cannot be used as such that is why it is needed to be converted into nitrate and nitrite the inorganic compound so that it can be absorbed these are the absorbable forms actually next question for you is the largest reservoir of nitrogen on earth and the options are soil air oceans rocks and the answer is air right it is present in the air air is the largest reservoir of nitrogen over the earth next is dash is a free living nitrogen fixing bacteria and the options are rhodospirillum clostridium azotobacter and rhizobium and the options we have seen and the answer is azotobacter so these are some of the questions very much interesting and for now we are having 10 questions i'll be back with more questions for you and we'll meet in the next video till then have a very good bye